this vlog on a Saturday night. I am headed to um, a coworker turn friends um, like birthday gathering situation. My scalp got sunburned. I don't know if you can see, but it's very flaky and it looks like I have dandruff, which is not ideal. But, oh, as is my forehead, it is peeling. So I just put on some moisturizer to hopefully keep it at bay while I'm out. I, I'm sure it's kind of wrinkled. Oh well. I'm about to do my makeup. Um, I just wanted to come on and say hi. I'm listening to Cowboy Carter and I obviously can't listen while I record. So I just wanted to come say, hey y'all, what's tea? I'm gonna like speed through while I do my makeup so you guys can at least be here with me. But I'll check back in once the face is done. It's so I said eight and it's eight. I'm, I'm running on CBT as always. I did two little buns in the back. I hope it looks cute. And then the pieces that hang out will be out like so. But I need them to be out of the way so I can do my edges and so that I can do my makeup. I guess I will, I don't know, I don't want to commit to bring you guys along because I always say that and then I never end up doing it. Especially because this is someone else's function and not my own. I might get some clips, we'll see. But that's it for now. <laughs> You can't see my whole fit. Top is from Aritzia, belt, Target, pants, Zara, boots, H&M, earrings, H&M, regular jewelry. I put my hair in these two little space buns and I'm about to leave. Literally just left my house and it's raining. <laughs> no umbrella, just vibes. Good morning, girls. Happy Easter. He is risen. We are up and about to head to church. I have on this green dress from Mango and these boots that I thrifted many, many years ago. I owe you guys a recap from last night, but it was really a good time. I don't think I got any clips because I was just having fun. Yeah, happy Easter. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Praise the Lord. I did very, very light makeup because my skin is peeling and going through a thing, but time for church we're trying a new church today we're gonna try epiphany in prospect heights i think so yes i hope you guys have a great easter <laughs> meal prepping like I work in a restaurant and I'm obsessed with them and in our you guys know like every Friday we order Uber Eats or whatever and so in my Uber Eats orders recently I've been getting those like restaurant style I don't know what they're called like Tupperware I guess but I just like prepped a bunch of stuff and so I made a homemade Caesar dressing. I cut up all of my romaine for Caesar salads. Did I say a homemade romaine dressing? Homemade Caesar dressing. Yeah. Girls, it's been a long day. This is my first day back at work after almost two weeks. So I don't even know how to talk. I don't even, I don't even know. Anyway, I cut up my romaine for Caesar salads and just for salads in general. I made a homemade Caesar dressing I'm making some chicken in the air fryer right now. This is a lazy meal prep. I cut up some carrots that have been in the fridge for a while. I cut up some mushrooms. Oh, I steamed some broccoli. And then if you've ever had the Wingstop Cajun corn, I've been craving that for some reason, so I made it. And I want to taste test it with you guys. So it has 
garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, cayenne, thyme, oregano, salt, pepper, did I say that? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I've been craving that, and so I made it. But I made it in the air fryer, because they're fried, I'm pretty sure, when you get them from Wingstop. And I'm not, I'm not gonna fry on corn. So, I thought we'd do a little taste test. It was hot. Hold on, let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's so good. And I feel like this is just a really easy way to eat vegetables. First of all, I love corn. I love corn on the cob, and so to be able to just buy, because I bought four big ones, and I just cut them up, and that made six servings, essentially, so I have more in the fridge, but I wanted to try it out first before I made them. What I would do differently is I cook them in the air fryer on 400 for 15 minutes, but I think I would do 12 minutes instead of 15, because I shook it at, like, after maybe 11 minutes and they were damn near perfect. But then I kind of forgot because I was doing other stuff. So I think I'm gonna cook them for 12 minutes next time because they're a little giving burnt a little bit. But they good. Mm-hmm. So yeah. That's a burnt one. I'm gonna go to the gym a little bit. I really eased into work today, so that was nice. Cause going back after two weeks is crazy also if it's wild i have my air fryer going i don't have a mic i don't have a real camera like work with me or not a real camera i don't have a vlogging camera y'all know this i was gonna vlog while i cooked today but i just needed to be in silence you guys ever do that when i used to drive i don't drive now that i live in new york but when I lived in Chicago and I would drive anywhere, I would drive in silence because sometimes you just need to sit with your thoughts. And I had therapy today, so like, I really just needed to be be one, be at one with me. So that was really nice. Highly recommend, because usually I would turn on like, I'm watching Real Housewives Beverly Hills right now. So I would turn that on or I would turn on, turn on music, but I just wanted to be with myself and it was nice. Also, I cleaned my fridge out today. It looks so good, especially since I've been using those restaurant style containers. I'm gonna show you. Look at my fridge, how cute, my family. You guys, it's so organized. So I have all of my um, vegetables over here. I have some simple syrup that I homemade as well as some sour cream back there because something's wrong with my, fr my refrigerator where Stuff has been freezing if it's in the back, so I probably should move that sour cream to the front anyway. But that's that, and then I have my fruit and some champagne and wine, and then all of the bevs. I love Bubbly by Pepsi, but I can get my groceries from Aldi, and this is very, very good. Tonic water, lime juice, some vitamin water my parents left when they were here visiting, some Starbucks cold brew, um, this guacamole salsa that Franz loves, and then we have three... <laughs> Are these half gallons of almond milk? Because I use almond milk in my smoothies. Franz and I have cereal almost every single night and he uses them for his protein shakes. So like we run through almond milk so fast. And then this is that Haitian food I was telling y'all about in the last vlog. Um, I had frozen it. So this is just the last, this is the last batch, it's so sad. And then this is some broccoli that I made really quick last night because I realized there was no vegetables to go in Franz's lunch. And then that's the other half of the chicken that I'm currently marinating. And then this is the Caesar dressing that I made, eggs, bread, and some bagels that I bought uh, this week. And then I also redid these drawers. This used to just be a cheese drawer, but now it's, this is yogurt, cream cheese, like dairy, and then like these kind of containers. I put it all down here. And then this side is all cheese. I love cheese, bad. So, oh, and then in here is just vegetables, some romaine, carrots, a bell pepper, um, yeah, and then condiments on the sides. Mm. Okay. It's almost seven. I have 30 minutes left on this chicken. So I think I'm going to lay on the couch and edit the rest of 
my March in Review vlog. And then hopefully by then, I'm like almost done with it. So I'm thinking by then, the chicken should be done. And I have that in my mind. It's like a walk on Wednesday, but we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Oh, that corn is really good. Oh, that's Jesus. Okay. I will check back in probably before I go to the gym. Just got in a great workout. Gym is empty, so that's a win. Time to log on to work. Good morning, girlies. I'm having such a fabulous day today. I worked out this morning, and now I'm about to log on to my first meeting. I'm having one half of a bagel and my berries and cream smoothie. Mm. I finally finished my vlog last night or not my vlog my video what's going up tomorrow I'm so happy I'm so excited so after I'm done working for the day I'm gonna like make the thumbnail get everything scheduled to go up and stuff but I'm thrilled to finally be back in the groove obviously I'm vlogging now um but yes I am very very happy to be back man we really do try our best to get things under control with her Oh, also, Lady has been pooping in our bathtub lately. If anyone else has cats and has dealt with this same type of behavior, please let me know. I think it's a behavioral issue, but I don't really know what the trigger is um, entirely. And it started within the last couple months. We, I think it's a lot of things. I'm taking her to the vet tomorrow, one, because she needs to get... Um, her vaccines and two just to like talk to the vet and see like is this normal is there something we should be doing differently so on and so forth about to get started for work today and then um I don't really have anything like entirely exciting happening today at all I do have a work event but I'm unsure if I'm going because I don't know if I have a ticket for it so I actually need to I need to inquire about that because I would like to go. Yeah, let me do that now, actually. Hey, girl queens. Okay, it's Wednesday. I have to take Lady to the vet in like an hour because, well, I'll get into that in a second because it's actually kind of not great. But it has been raining in New York since Monday. Today's Wednesday. It's been raining in New York for the past like two days. And I booked her appointment for today because one, it's like something we need to get taken care of quickly. And two, I didn't think it was gonna be raining. And I have to walk, well I don't have to, I guess. I guess I could take the bus. But I'm planning to walk to her appointment because her vet is not far from where we live. And it's raining and I'm like, how that work? How, how is that supposed to go down? Hey, you wanna say hi to the vlog? She shows standing here looking like he's up to. Say hi, vlog. I'm scared. I'm excited to go to the vet. What's that? Probably not. She doesn't even know. She doesn't have a clue what's about to hit her. I pulled her carrier out and I put some treats in it, and she has been like hanging out around it. She was laying in it at one point, just like relaxing. So. I hope that's a, a sign that she'll go in it with willingly when it's time to leave. You know, they go. Oh, she's right here. You guys, every time I hear something, I think she's in the bathroom pooping. It, it just, it's very stressful. Matter of fact, I do need to see if I can take the bus because it's rain. And it's probably cold. And her little carrier has like holes in it, I guess we can call it. But yeah i've been working all day today was really busy like since the moment i sat down i think i was did i talk to y'all this morning honestly i don't know but it's been a really busy day I, i'm kind of disappointed because some stuff is for some of my brands is in the same place that it was when i left it and that's disappointing but then other stuff has progressed quite a bit and that is really exciting to come back and like things are better than when I left it so that's good 
I still have like another 30 minutes or so before I need to leave. So I'm gonna try to get some more work done. I'm gonna have a snack. I have been getting headaches so badly. I think you t I may have told you guys last night. I, oh, I gotta stop kissing her when I'm wearing lip gloss. Cause then I just get fur in my mouth. I've been getting such terrible headaches. First, they started yesterday. I had a, a headache like all yesterday afternoon and pretty much until I went to bed. And then I just got one like an hour ago. And I've been wearing my glasses and everything, so I don't know what it could be. I thought it, cause sometimes I used to just get headaches when I didn't have coffee, but I haven't had coffee consistently in the morning for a while because I've been doing my smoothies. So, should I make coffee? I'm gonna make coffee, come on. So when we had our party last month, I bought this cold brew concentrate because I made a huge batch of espresso martinis. And so I've been using this to make a cold brew when I feel like it. So I think I'm just gonna, oh, I guess I could, I'm gonna need this. I'm just gonna make a little cold brew. So you do four ounces of concentrate, four ounces of water, and then you customize it how you like. Oh. Wait, you guys, my fridge has been freezing stuff. I thought that was like glue. Okay, that was four ounces. This is the Starbucks cold brew coffee concentrate signature black. And you know what's so funny? I have bought, I have so much cat hair in my mouth right now. I'm like about to freak out. I bought a long, long time ago um, the coffee concentrate from Trader Joe's, but I didn't know you were supposed to add water. And I was like, this is disgusting. Like, why do people keep talking about this? And I didn't realize you were supposed to add water until today. And I bought that concentrate, like, when I lived in Chicago. It's definitely too late for me to be trying to have a coffee but I'm just really craving the taste, so. Who gonna stop me? I'm grown. That's the best part about being an adult. <laughs> if you wanna have a cookie for breakfast, who is gonna stop you? When we were in Milwaukee last week, I had four Snickerdoodle cookies for breakfast because I could, literally, as my like pre-breakfast snack. Okay, Ooh, that's not enough milk. Like I already knew. Let's, well, let's see. Let me not judge this side color. Honestly, it's not enough concentrate. I think I gotta tweak the ratio. I damn near do like three quarters a cup of concentrate and a quarter cup of water. Cause I do like my coffee wrong okay a smidge more milk mm -hmm. that's it that's it right there girls it has been quite the eventful day i got back from the vet with ladybug about 30 minutes ago and 800 dollars later <laughs> we still don't really have answers to why she is going number two in the bathtub but they did give us quite a few things to do think about consider lots of tests She's gonna go on anxiety medication for a couple of days because some of the behaviors that she's exhibiting seem very like anxious type of things. She was behind on her vaccines anyway, so that kind of worked out, but my God, when they say having kids is expensive, they weren't lying. Now that we're back home, I'm having a grilled cheese and some Annie's tomato soup for lunch and just trying to catch up on work because we were gone for like two hours. I was, our vet is like 
a 12 minute walk, I want to say, probably less than that from our apartment. And so it was very like quick and easy to get there, except not easy because it's pouring rain and extremely windy. My umbrella was being blown every which way. But I'm trying to catch up on work now. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. But I'll keep you guys posted on her progress. I hope all of this works out because I just want my baby to be, I just want her to be okay. That's really, all it boils down to is that she's okay and that nothing is wrong or out of the ordinary. And I obviously don't want her to have anxiety because personally I deal with anxiety myself and it's not a good feeling, especially like I'm an adult, I'm a human, I can communicate, you know, how I feel. She can't communicate with in a way that me and Franz can like actually understand. So I just want her to be okay. That's really all that matters. And when we got the bill, I was like, <clears throat> and when I called Franz just to be like, <laughs> what do we do? Like whatever, he was like, if you think it's gonna, you know, be what's best for her, like let's do it. And that, I just love him so much. like. I just needed to hear that, okay? Because I was in that vet office like sweating, okay? Sweating, but she's okay. Everything is fine. And yeah, we're gonna bounce back from this like we would anything else. She actually, as soon as we got in the house, she was like completely back to normal, so. Shocker. Shocker. But yeah, I'm having lunch, catching up on work. That coffee that I made honestly gave me such bad anxiety. <laughs> I had breakfast and then I was starting to get hungry, but because I had had the coffee right before I left, I think it kind of like was on an empty stomach and I was so like jittery. Stress, just stress. But I feel better now that I have some food in my system. But yes, that's the update for right now. I'm about to get my life together and try to get as much work done as I can before 5.30. But let's see how much I can get done before the end. <laughs> Obviously mushrooms, soy sauce, Worcestershire, salt, pepper, and a little bit of thyme at the end. Oh, and a little white wine. I did do that off camera. Something about dry white just felt right. Okay, here we go. I like mine a little like firmer, meatier feel. Like this one is a, mm. oh my goodness. Growing up, Y'all know I'm from the suburbs of Chicago. There's this restaurant called Beggars. Beggars Pizza. And my parents used to get Beggars Pizza all the time. That was like the pizza that I grew up on. It is tavern, well not tavern style because it's not thin crust. But it's like hella thick with cheese. Oh, it's probably my favorite pizza ever because I love cheese. But anyway, we used to get these fried mushrooms from there, I think. Am I misremembering? I don't know. But some, for some reason, these, these mushroom, oh no, we used to get a mushroom pizza. Yes, mushroom topping on the pizza from there. Y'all, it was so good. Also, I'm acknowledging that I'm wearing the same clothes that I think I've been wearing the last three days, but that's what happens when I work from home. This is my comfort outfit right now, and so that's what I'm wearing. I shower every day, <laughs> so I, I should be able to wear it. Um, but yes, these are so good. So for dinner, I'm gonna have Kind of a, a mix of things. I think I'm gonna do a chicken Caesar wrap with these mushrooms and <clears throat> corn on the side. I didn't show it, did I show y'all? Yeah, 
the Cajun corn. I made more last night. So I think I'm gonna do that for dinner. Or oh, maybe a side of avocado. Are these right? Oh yeah. Some of these feel ripe. So maybe I'll do like a little side of avocado. Yum. Hi girls. Despite the fact that I had to go to work today, friends bought me lunch. Best husband ever. Now back to the office. Hey girls, happy Thursday. I'm just coming on to end this vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me this week. I just got home from my Pilates class, so I'm gonna edit, shower. I'm not really hungry, so I'm eating some carrots. And yeah, try to get this up for you guys soon. The March and Review vlog is officially live, so if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. I really hope you like it. I'm gonna really try not to ever have to do that again, but I, you know, if you guys do like it, we can do some sort of videos in that way if you're interested. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.